Okay then, so before this video starts, I thought I'd tell everyone that all the software I used in this video was open broadcaster software, otherwise known as OBS. Um, an awesome software used to record games, desktop, sh uh, stream to Twitch or MLG.com, anything like that. And you can do different, uh, you can do overlays, different layers, different webcams, different setups, you can change all through transitions, etc. I use this as it's very simple to use, doesn't put any strain on my PC at all. And it's free, so <laughs> that's definitely why you should get it. Um, I'll leave it down the link in the description so you can use this and maybe make your own speed arts of your graphics videos or record some games. But yeah, anyways, this will be in the description so you can go down there and get it and then you can use this. Alright and everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today I am going to be showing you how to basically speed up your videos in Sony Vegas, how to make time lapses if you're playing a game or perhaps you just want to speed up a certain part of a video, maybe if you've uh, made a speed up for someone or you've done a speed up for yourself etc and you want to speed it up and make speed up videos for like graphics channels then I will be showing you how to do that today. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new project in Sony Vegas. I'm on Pro 13, it doesn't matter what one you're on, I'm pretty sure they all work just about the same. This is, um, I'm pretty sure this is just like the normal project, it's 1280 by 720 there's nothing special in this one. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go and grab the clip from my recordings folder, OBS and video 3 I believe this is. What's going to happen is you're going to want to click no on this box as we don't want the project size to be messed about with and scaled. Now like that's just in case I click no just because I'm used to it but um, just in case your monitor wasn't uh, 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 resolution then like you know obviously um it would mess with the size and give your video black bars which is something you don't want and have to deal with and go through so what you can do is right click on the audio bar if you're not using this track right click and go to group and remove from and then you can click delete on your keyboard or right click it and then delete um if you are using the audio, obviously keep the audio track there. Now, what you're going to want to do is right click on the video track and go to properties at the bottom. Uh, we're going to want to remove all of these boxes, click disable resample, and we're going to be messing with the playback rate today. We're going to times it by 4, which is 400%. The reason why we've removed loop, I would say only remove loop when you're doing speed arts and all this sort of speeding up videos etc as what loop does is is in the name um, since I'm timesing it by 4 which is 400% what will happen is all this excess video here that was at just the 100% speed will then be looped with the um, sped up video and it will just be replaced constantly to try and fill up all the space but if you untick loop then what we can do is we click OK and it'll come up with these two little two little markers here we want to click S on our keyboards for snake and this is now all excess video that was just there from when you actually recorded it in the first place now we can right click and click delete and this is the whole sped up video here so what we're going to want to do is well that is the whole sped up video you don't have to do anything else now um, with the video another way that you can if I can get the rest of this clip back quickly. Uh, right, that's the normal speed. Another way you can do it is if you go to the end of the clip and you hold down the control on your keyboard, left click and drag all the way along. Um, that has now got rid of all the excess track that would have been there and it's just squeezed it all up. This is now the exact same, it's times by 4. If we go to properties and check, it's times by 4. Um, this has all gone back because it's a new track, but uh, loop now does not have to be affected. You can leave loop on as it's got nothing to loop over. It's just one one playthrough of the video. Uh, we can click OK on that. Now you're going to want to, if you want, unless you've got like commentary or sync over. Let me drag this over to my other monitor. You're going to want to grab some music for the background. I use music by Individuality. It's a YouTube channel that showcases a lot of non-copyright music. It's really chill. It's um, I'll leave it in the description. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this song, just drag it in 
and move it down to about halfway. So this way it's not too loud when the video starts, so you don't have to mess with audio, and obviously it's not too quiet, so you have to mess with audio straight away when the video starts, you can just watch it. What unless you've got um some sort of outro here or video after this that you want to use with the music at the same time, you can leave this part here, the excess music on. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the end of the video track, click on the audio track, and then click S again on our keyboards to remove uh, that excess song there and now what we're going to do is go to the end of the audio track uh, up in these corners you can see these little triangles click on those and you drag in and same with the video track it just makes it look a little bit less rough when the video ends so that way it doesn't just stop randomly and the video completely ends it fades out looks very nice and so does the audio so it just slowly dims down and that is basically the whole thing right there what you're going to want to do is just pull these little yellow triangles out that's the area in which your video will be rendered when you render your video out to upload to YouTube or wherever you're putting it to. That is basically the whole video right there. Um, what you would want to do is go up to file, maybe save it. I've already pre-done all of this. This is just quickly me doing it to show for the video. Now, you want to go to render as and name your video and then render it in all your render settings, whatever your render settings are. I've already done that to, for the purposes of this video. So I can quickly close this as I don't need it anymore. And now what we'll do is we'll move over to the video that I've made. So now you can see it. And yeah, that'll be the end of the video. I hope this has helped people. Alright, and everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, I'm pretty sure I might have a bunch of links in the description. I'm definitely going to have my other channels down below in the description. And I'll have any software that was used in the videos, anything that might be necessary down in the description, everything will be down there. Um, don't be afraid to leave a comment, don't be afraid to leave a like, don't be afraid to subscribe, everything is much appreciated. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching again and I'll see you in the next video.